Leco DLB configuration. Prior to installation, all devices must be configured. There are two ways to access the device. One is through a router and two is through a computer. When a device is connected to your router, it will receive an IP address through your DHCP server. By default, all devices have network discovery turned on. Click on Windows File Explorer and navigate it to the network pane. If network discovery is disabled on your computer, you will get the message to enable it. Go ahead and enable network discovery. With network discovery enabled, all devices connected to your network will show up under the network section. Double click on individual devices to pull up the web configuration through your browser. Prior to connecting to a router, you can configure each individual device through a computer connected directly. The default IP of the device is 192.168.2.66. Type this into your web browser to access the device. It is important to note if you use this method, you must set a static IP, otherwise you'll get an error on your browser. To set a static IP, go to your network settings, Click on Ethernet, click on Change Adapter Options, locate your Ethernet adapter, right click and choose Properties. Search for Internet Protocol IPv4, click on it and choose Properties. The default method is to obtain information automatically. We are going to specify an IP address. Type in an IP address in the same range of the default IP of the device. Also enter the subnet mask. Click on OK to save the settings and close the additional windows that are open. Now that the IP address has been set, go back to the browser and type in the default IP of the device. Now you will be directed to the web interface for configuration. There are two usage scenarios when creating a link. One is point to point, where you have one access point and one station. One is point to multi point, where you have one access point and multiple stations. When configuring devices, start with the access point configuration first. Access the device using one of the two methods mentioned earlier. The username is admin and the password is admin01. Agree to terms. Select your country. Select your usage scenario. And click change. Click on the Settings section. The default operating mode is Station. We're going to change that to Access Point IPOL 3. Next, click on the default SSID of LEGO DLB to customize your network. Enter your own SSID and add security if desired. Then click Done. The next configuration menu is Network. The default network mode is Bridge. Router options are also available. The default IP method is Dynamic. This means that your router will assign an IP address to the device. You may also static an IP address. Once your settings are in place, click Save to save all settings. Your access point configuration is now complete. We will now configure the station device. Click on Settings, click on the default SSID, and click on the search button to locate your access point. Click on your access point and click on Select. Enter the required password, and click on Done. Configure your network settings and click on Save.
You will notice the access point and station link up when the indicator for signal strength changes from searching to a physical signal strength. From the access point, you will notice there is one station in the upper right hand corner. When you click on the information and then wireless networks, you will see all peers that are connected and their current signal levels. There is a setting that is also useful on a short link. If you enable automatic throughput control, the device will self adjust to the required power. This helps adjust the signal strength on a short distance. Make this change on both the access point and the stations.